And then of course the capture point has a similar verification command and again you can specify a specific capture point or take a look at them all. No merged option here. Anyways I used all here because there's only one on this device and it tells you the name um, whether it was IPv4 or v6 whether it was Ceph or process switching uh, here you go you can see it again here gives you the name of the buffer that it's associated with and whether it's actively capturing packets or not this is actually really good for troubleshooting because if this is empty then you know you missed a step that you didn't associate your capture point with your buffer and once again, it shows you the configuration. All right, so let's wrap this guy up. Embedded Packet Capture, or EPC, gives you the ability to capture data packets flowing to, from, and through a Cisco router. You need to be running a newer version of iOS, so you need to be running 12.4.20t or later. Just a quick aside, if you're looking for the command reference for this feature set, you have to look under the T train. Uh, it's not under the main line. So if you're looking at the command reference for 12.4, say 30, I'm just making up a number, something that you know is sufficient to run this and you're looking under the main line you're not going to see the commands for this it's, you got to go look under the t train in the documentation anyways you're going to need a router with, with plenty of dynamic ram and cpu the isr series is really suited well for this function the dynamic ram according to the documentation buffer size can be set up to 100 megs so you're going to want plenty of dynamic ram that may uh, vary platform to platform and you can set up multiple buffers so you see that this could take up quite a bit of dynamic ram if you let it you have the ability to view the capture packets on the router in ascii format with some limited filtering not really a great method of doing that in most cases you're going to want to transfer the captured data to another device and use something with a little more sophistication like wireshark to analyze the packets and you can transfer this with a number of different protocols so the end result here is that epc does not take the place of a dedicated sniffer, a network analysis module, or even a laptop with um, you know, Wireshark installed. It does give you a nice packet capture option in situations where you don't have one of those better methods available or you know if you just want to do a real quick and dirty and just say I want to look at you know BGP packets coming off of my device going to my provider to see what's going on there it can be set up rather quickly. Anywho thanks for joining me in the packet lab today and taking a look at this feature the embedded packet capture. I hope to see you guys over in the lab section.